Back to the phones we go. It's the heart of the show. I'm here for you to talk directly to you. Lindsay's on the line in Redlands, California. Lindsay, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi there. How are you? I am living the dream, Lindsay. How are you today? I'm good. Good. Um, a little bit about myself. I'm 28 years old. I'm currently working at a nonprofit in their development department, and I like it okay. Um, but what I really like is doing events. I started my own wedding planning business about six years ago and was doing well. But when my husband and I decided to go my family, we scaled way, way back. Hey, Lindsay, um, Lindsay, question. Lindsay, mm-hmm. real quick. Uh, you're doing a great job. If you can just kind of pull that phone closer to your mouth, you're getting real muffled on us. Sorry, is this better? That is so much better. Okay, so you had a wedding uh, planning business and something happened to the husband. So get, pick me up there. Sorry, a uh, wedding planning business about six years ago, mm-hmm. and we were doing well. But when we decided to grow our family, I scaled way back. Okay. Um, so my question is, with my experience, I have seven years in development and event planning and a degree in communications. I'm curious what would be a good position to apply for that wouldn't be so far-fetched that it wouldn't be so outlandish for me to apply for. That's such a funny question. <laughs> because I think you're really clear on what you'd love to do. So I'll answer that in a moment. But I'm, I'm going to ask you a question instead of answer your question. Because it's just a weird way of saying it. What would not be so outlandish and so crazy? As opposed to, what is it that you would want to do? If, if I give it to you tomorrow, on your terms, what do you want to do? You already told us. Just I mean, say it. I'd love to plan events, and I'd love to do it full time. But Yay! I would love to do it for a company, for somebody else, and not for myself. Right. So my point is, who's planning events in your zip code or your nearby area? Like, let's just have fun for a second. Just a silly visual, Okay. But do you are you old enough to even remember old school maps that were like physical maps? You'd spread them out on a table? Yep. <laughs> okay. So let's just picture your area, okay? And let's just say you go, Ken, I'm not willing to drive more than 30 minutes uh, from my home every day. Great. So we would draw a circle around your house, and we go 30 minutes either way, and we're just going, who's doing event planning, whether it be – bar mitzvahs and birthdays and anniversaries and weddings and yada, yada, yada. Or is there an actual convention center that has a lot of live events that come uh, through there and they have a staff. And so they need people like you to work with the events to help pull these events off. You know, you're just making a list of who's in the event game in my area. And now that's our start. And we go, we know you've got experience to be able to bring a lot to the table. Yes or no, Lindsay? Yes. All right. So that's where we start. And then we go, okay, let's use the proximity principle here. Who do I know that knows somebody that works there or is running one of those event companies? And uh, would, would, would they be willing to make a direct connection and say, let me tell you about my friend Lindsay. She's a rock star. She had her own wedding planning business, but went home to start a family. By the way, everybody respects that. That's totally normal. <laughs> Nothing weird about that. It's not like you're a loser flunky. And uh, she just wants to get back in. But because she's a mama now, she doesn't want to run her own business. She wants to work for somebody else. She has done it all. I think she'd be fantastic. What's so difficult about that in your mind? I think to me, um, with the event planning business, it's always just one person. So going in to apply would be almost like taking that person's job. So I guess I'm just curious if there was, I don't know, maybe another type of industry that I could yeah. use my, my talents for those things, organized and personable, that I could apply somewhere else and make more money than what I'm making now. What are you making now? Uh, 54 a year. Doing what? Uh, I'm a development director um, for a nonprofit, but oh, that's right. Yeah. I, I don't like the de- the development yeah. side of it. Yeah, here's the deal. I'm going to push back on you a little bit. I wish you would just do what I told you to do and just do that okay. exercise and actually make a list of event planning companies, number one. Also, is there a, a convention center or some type of arena that's close by that does regional um, events? Probably within about 30 miles. Yeah. Okay. C- can you just make the list, first of all? And I don't know where you're getting this idea, and I'm on your side, Lindsay, but I don't know where you're getting this idea that you're taking somebody's job. We're only talking about approaching people who are hiring. So you're not taking anybody's job. Uh, So I don't quite get the reasoning there. But let me also give you one other idea. 
who's to say that you couldn't be a valuable asset in corporate America in companies large enough that have, they do their own events internally. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like they do a lot of HR events. And so you could end up working in an HR department where you are putting events together, putting training together. I mean, you're just a logistical wizard. Am I getting that right? Yes, basically. <laughs> yeah. So what are all the ways, where are all the companies where you could go and take your logistical, organizational, people skills, figure out what the task list is, get the task list done, and do it in a way that everybody's happy and everybody's fulfilled. Does that sound like a good day to you? It would to me, yeah. but I guess I just never thought about anything outside of, yeah. you know, I because, guess, you know why? actual events. You know why? Because you have do, you're have you doing what a lot of us do. It's the human element. You're going, this is all I've ever done. So it's how scary is it to step outside of that? And you stopped thinking about what you actually do during the day. Forget about the title. Forget about the industry. What do you do all day, every day, Lindsay, that makes you love live events? And it's really about coordinating, planning, executing, right? I could go on and on and on. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the things that you love to do are actually the things you're really good at. So in your sweet spot, Lindsay, are multiple, multiple, multiple jobs and even careers or sectors. Make sense now? It does. So forget just the assignment I gave you. Get get beyond that and go, let's go look at all the jobs that are available right now in my area that are heavy on logistics and details and organization and execution because all those are in your sweet spot. Am I right? Yes. All right, Lindsay, you know what time it is, don't you? You going to tell me? <laughs> it's time to go. Stop thinking and start looking and start applying and start using the proximity principle. Hang on the line. I'm going to have Madison give you a copy of my best-selling book uh, because this is going to encourage you and equip you at the same time as you begin to reach out. And uh, you are so wildly valuable in the American economy. You give me somebody like you, Lindsay, who's personable, great with details, loves execution, got a great spirit about it. Come on, Lindsay, the world at work revolves around people like you. I'm an idea guy. I got the big vision, but I'm awful with execution. So you're really valuable.